Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here at the review of the Carrera Profi RC Fiber Monster. Uh, this is a 118th scale four-wheel drive monster truck. Uh, this is not waterproof, but it is very fast. As it says here, 31 miles an hour or 50 kilometers per hour. And that does seem about accurate. I was in my notes, I had that it was about 30 miles an hour, though I don't have actual like speed measuring tools, but uh, just based on my experience with other models, I think that does seem accurate. It is quite fast and fun. A little bit weird looking. I don't know, it kind of has like a stubby design to it. Some of the proportions are a little weird for me, uh, but I did like that it has this huge bumper across the front here that goes out in front of the wheels so you don't end up you know hitting your wheels into something this bumper blocks it so i thought that was pretty nice and then you've got the same across the back as well uh, go ahead and take the bat body off and look inside here so we've got a heat sink on our motor uh, this is our turning servo over here um, then we've got this is the battery bay so the side opens up and the battery slides in there and there's a body pin that locks it closed and then we do have an on off switch here that you can reach with the body on. You can kind of get your finger up in there and switch the switch uh, so you can, you know, have it all plugged in and ready to go and then get it out to the field and turn it on when you're ready. Uh, so I'm always a big fan of that when you can reach the on off switch with the body on. Uh, the suspension's a little bit stiff, it, but it, you know, that's good for jumping. It doesn't have a ton of give when it lands, but it can be a little bumpy on, uh, you know, like rocks and gravel and stuff like that. Oops, knocked the controller over. Um, oh, and then the the wheels aren't foam filled. They're just they're just air. You can kind of hear that. Um, so as you can see here, I've got some damage to my wheels because, you know, if you hit a, a bump or a curb or something, you know, the wheels just give and then the, the, all the pressure gets applied right to the metal rim. Uh, so that could become a problem with time and you may have to re uh, replace the wheels if you, you know, dent them up or, you know, bend them out of shape or something. Um, go look at the controller here. So pretty standard uh, ground vehicle controller. It's a little bit small, but I don't mind that. It makes it convenient and it you know fits in the hand just fine. And it is full proportional control. So you got forward and backward and turning, and you can you know just turn as little as you want or give as little throttle as you want. And then we've got um, steering trim and throttle trim as well. There are no dual rates though, so you can't you know dial it down and make it slower or anything if you wanted to. Um, and then something I wanted to note here with getting access to the batteries. Uh, so there is a screw here that you need to remove first. And then when I first did that, you know, I took the screw out and I'm trying to get at it, and I couldn't, I couldn't get the thing out. I'm trying to figure out what's going on and you know, ugh, what did I do? And so finally I had to refer to the instruction manual to put the batteries in the transmitter, which I've never had to do before. So I thought I would share that with you guys, that there's a button here that you press and then the battery you know, holder thing comes out and it takes two AA batteries and it does come with the batteries as well. As you can see, they're uh, Carrera branded. Um, so yeah, that was a little confusing. I've never had to refer to an instruction manual for putting batteries in a controller before. Uh, so I thought I'd share that piece of information. Um, it does come with uh, one of these you know, hub tool things here to remove the wheel screws, hubs. Um, we've got a wall charger here that charges through the balance plug. And this is our battery here, which is a 2S... Uh, it's a 7.4, let's get that to focus in, 7.4 volt, 1100 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Um, so, you know, that's close to a LiPo. Lithium ion's pretty comparable as far as, you know, power output. Um, so I don't think you're going to get any faster speed by putting a LiPo in it. This lithium ion is uh, plenty capable and it does have the uh, Dean's T-plug connector there. Uh, let's see, it takes about an hour and a half to charge off the stock charger, and you get about 12 and a half minute run times. They say, you know, up to 15 minutes, you know, but like I always say, it depends on the surface you're running on and how fast you're going and stuff. Uh, but, you know, I averaged out my runs, and it was about 12 and a half minutes on average. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty standard run time. 
Um, like I said, it is not waterproof, so you're not going to want to run this in water. And as you can see, well, I don't know if that really comes across on camera or not, but mine's, you know, a little bit dirty, which one of my favorite things about having the waterproof ones is, you know, you run it out in the dirt and then you just bring it in and shower it off and dry it and it's nice and clean. Um, whereas I can't clean this one, so it's starting to build up some dirt in there. Um... Let's see if I have any other notes. Uh, nope, that looks like that covers it. So let's go take it out for a run. All right, this is the run review of the Carrera RC Profi Fiber Monster. Uh, this is the 18th scale four-wheel drive monster truck. And it's pretty fast, goes about uh, 30 miles an hour. So a pretty fun one. I'll give it a speed run over here on the concrete and then we'll take it across the way and do some off-roading. And it is, you know, proportional everything, proportional steering and throttle and everything. So there's full speed. Definitely a fast one. Really cool little truck. It is just a brushed motor though. Man, it scoots. Thing's pretty cool. It's like it's having no problem in this little bit shorter grass here. problem in this stuff. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's take it over into the rocks. It's like it's doing pretty well on the rocks. Oop, a little roll over. Stays pretty nice and smooth for how small it is. It's like the suspension's working quite well. Not bad at all on the rocks. Take it over here a little bit. steering trim. It does have the steering trim and throttle trim on the transmitter so you don't have to get under the bottom of it to trim it. Oops! <laughs> trying to trim it and took my hand off the wheel and crashed. Thing's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that was awesome.
try that one again. Oh, didn't land on its wheels. This thing is pretty cool, man. <laughs> Kick up some dirt. This little thing is fun. <laughs> kind of a neat little jump right here. It's like the, the steering trim is pretty touchy. I'm trying to give it just a little bit of adjustments and it's kind of going from one side to the other. Can't quite get it perfectly straight, but not bad. Alright, well I think that was a pretty good demo. This thing is fast and fun, good off-road, good suspension, four-wheel drive, pretty neat little car. Alright, we'll check the video description for a price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.